Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to learn about frame factorization. So, minsan may mga questions sa civil service exam about numerical ability. Uh, like for example, uh, is this uh, number a prime factor of a given number? So, or find the factor prime factors of a given number. So, dito po matututo po tayo kung ano ba yung mga prime factors at paano ba gawin yung prime factorization. So, ito po yung i-discuss natin ngayon dito sa video na ito. So, prime numbers are numbers whose factors are one and itself. So, 0 and 1 are neither prime nor composite. 2 is the only even number that is prime number. Bakit prime number si 2? Because the factors of 2 is only 1 and itself. 1 times 2 is equals to 2. So, kaya uh, among the even numbers, it is only 2 that is considered as a prime number. The rest are all composite numbers. So, composite numbers are numbers with more than two factors. Example is 4. So, ano ba yung mga factors ni 4? So, 1 times 4. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 2 times 2 is also equal to, 2 times 2, I mean, 2 times 2 is also equal to 4. Okay? So, therefore, 4 is not a prime number, but instead 4 is a composite number. Kasi hindi lang si 1 and itself ang factors, kundi may 2 din as factor of 4. So, prime factorization is the process of expressing a number as a product of prime factors. Okay, so paano ba ginagawa? Ano ba yung mga steps? Number 1, okay, number 1 is find two numbers whose product is the given number. So, hanap ka ng dalawang factor na ang product nun ay yung given number. The next is, continue finding the factors of the first factors of the given number until all factors are prime numbers. So, hanggang hindi pa kayo nakakakita, hindi pa lumalabas yung mga prime factors or prime numbers, hindi pa tayo matatapos ang factorization natin. Okay? So, hanggat lahat na ng factors natin ay prime numbers, then that is the end of our factorization process. So, let's try and uh, have some exercises. Example natin. Write the factors of 24. So, ano ba yung mga factors of 24? There are so many ways, marami pong ways, pero you will reach on the same factors lang po. The same prime factors. For example, 24. Ano ba yung mga factors ni 24? So, usually, when I do this uh, the prime factorization, I always think of a prime number immediately. Ano bang pwede multiply ko sa prime number to give this number? Ang product na ay itong number. So, in this case, ano bang prime number na pwede kong i-multiply sa isang number na ang sagot niya ay 24? So, example, I'm thinking of number 2. Ano bang number na pwede natin i-multiply para makuha natin ang 24? So, mabilis lang actually isipin ko anong number. But if you are not really that good in mathematics, you can go to basics. So, paano malalaman? Anong pwedeng gawin number? So, try natin. 24 divided by 2. So, meron tayong 1 times 2 is 2. 0, bring down 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. There is no remainder. Therefore, 12 is also a factor 24. So, when you multiply 12 by 24 or by, by 2, that will give you 24. So, uh, since 2 is already a prime number, prime number na si 2, hindi na natin kailangan i-factor pa. Hanapin pa ng factor si 2 kasi prime number na si 2. Ang gagawin na lang natin is si 12. Ano ba mga factors ni 12 na hanggang aabot tayo na yung factor na ay prime numbers na? So, let's try. Anong pwede natin gawin to multiply? Okay. So, let's start with 2. Again, kasi mas mabilis yun kasi prime number na si 2. At anong i-multiply natin kay 2 para makuha natin ng 12? Alam natin na when we multiply 2 by 6, okay, it will give us 12. So, 2 is already a prime number. 6 is not yet a prime number because 6 is a composite number. Hindi lang si 1 and itself ang kanyang factor. Meron tayong also another factor. Example is 2 times 3. Okay? 2 times 3 
These are all factors of 6. Okay? Because when you multiply 2 by 3, that will give you 6. And 2 is already a prime number. 3 is also a prime number. Why? Because the factors of 3 is only 1 in itself. So therefore, end na tayo sa process. Therefore, the prime factors of 24 are, ito yung prime factors ni 24, meron tayong tatlong 2. So 2 times 2, okay, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Yan po ang prime factors of 24. So pwede natin in exponent form. So ilang 2s meron? 1, 2, 3. So 2 raised to the power of 3 times 3. And these are the factors of 24. Okay? So madali lang. You have to find the two numbers that have a product of 24. Since the factor are not yet prime. Okay? So 6. For example, ang 12 hindi pa. Ito. Hindi pa prime si 6. So you still have to continue and find the factors of 12. So dito prime number na si 2. So but si 6 hindi pa siya prime number. So you still have to continue and find what are the prime factors of 6. So dito. And tayo dito kasi 2 and 3 are prime numbers already. So therefore, these are the prime factors of 24. Okay? So, yun yung first example natin. So let's try. Uh, actually, you may have a different pairs of factors initially, but you should end up with the same set of prime factors another way. So kahit ano gusto nyo i-start dyan, uh, pwede nyo i-gawin yun. Okay? So, example, kung gusto nyo gawin, example, eto, gusto nyo gawin ibang way. May ibang way ang tinitignan nyo. So, for example, gusto nyo 24, 2 times 12 pa rin. Okay? So, prime number na si 2. Gusto nyo gawin 3 times 4, for example. So, 3 times 4. 3 times 4 will also give you 12. The same thing with 2 and 6. So, dito 3 times 4, 3 is already a prime number. Okay, but 4 is not a prime number. So therefore, you have to find the factor of 4 until such makuha natin i prime numbers. So what are the factors of 4? When you multiply 2 by 2, that will give you 4. And 2 and 2 are prime numbers already. So kung i-compare mo doon sa first, ano natin, first method, ilang 2s meron? 1, 2, 3. Dito sa kabila, 1, 2, 3, at isang 3. So you get the same number. You get the same prime factors no matter what method you're going to use. Okay, so kahit anong gagamitin niya. So let's uh, have some more exercises on finding the prime factors of a given number. For example, let's start with 50. So ano ba yung mga factors of 50? Let's try natin. Usually I want it to start with uh, pwede natin start by using 5. Okay, when you multiply 5 by 10, 5 is already a prime number. 10 is not yet. So you can get 2 times 5. When you multiply 2 by 5, that will give you 10. And both 2 and 5 are already prime numbers. So therefore, the prime factors of 50, okay, ang prime factors of 50 ay meron tayong 5 times 2 times 5. Or let let us write it in this way. Dalawang 5. So 5 raised to the power of 2 times 2. So these are the prime factors of 50. There is another way that you can do that. Okay. Pwede din start with 2 times 25. Okay. So, but still you're going to have the same answer pa, na, pa din naman. Okay. So hindi ko na lang yun ira-write down. Pwede nyo rin gawin, say for example, ito gusto nyo 2 times 25. Okay. So example, kung gusto nyo 2 times 25, that is also equals to 50. Okay, so 2 is a prime number, 25 is a composite number. So what are the factors of 25? That is actually 5 by 5. So, and both 5 are prime numbers. So if you see, if you, if you can see, we still have the same prime uh, factors, which are 2 and 5. Okay, so no matter what method you use, you always have, uh, you will always arrive on the same prime factors. Pareho lang set of prime factors ang makukuha natin. Another example is let's try 72. So ano yung mga factors of 72? I'll, I always like to start with 2. Okay? So 2 times 36. When you multiply it, 2 is already a prime number. Then 36. Okay? So the fastest way to, to get 36 is when you multiply 6 by 6. So both 6, uh, six this 
number six is a composite number. So we still have to find the factors of uh, six para makuha natin prime factors. So for this, the factors of six are two and three. Multiply two by three. And two and three are all prime numbers. So this is the end of our uh, solution. So therefore, the, the factor, prime factors of 72 are 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. Okay? Times 2 pa pala doon sa taas. Okay? So how many 2's do we have? Write down in exponent form. Meron tayong 1, 2, 3. Tatlong 2. Okay? So 2 raised to the power of 3 times 3 raised to the power of 2. Kaso dalawang 3 meron. Okay? So these are the prime factors of 72. Next example is we have 150. So sa 150, ang pinaka-easy easy number to think about is uh, 3 times 150. Okay? So when you multiply 3 by, uh, uh, not times 150, times 50, I mean, so 3 by 50, 3 is already a prime number, 50 is not yet. So what are the factors of 50? Uh, let me use 2 by 25. Okay, 2 is a prime number already. 25 is a composite. So factors of 25 is 5 by 5. So bo, uh, this number is already a prime number. So last nito. Okay, so therefore the prime factors of 150 are 3 times 2 times 5 times 5. Or if we have to shorten it, 3 times 2 times 5 raised to the power of 2. Okay, so those are the prime factors of 150. Next is we have number 42. So what are the prime factors of 42? I'd like to start it again by using 2. Okay. Okay, so 2 times 21, that is actually 42. So 2 is a prime number. Let's focus on 21. So what numbers can we multiply to get 21? Let's try 3. Ilang 3 meron sa 21? That's 7. So when you multiply 3 by 7, that will give you 21. 3 is already a prime number. 7 is also a prime number. Why? Because the factors of 7 is only 1 in itself. Wala nang ibang factors si 7. So, 7 is also a prime number. So, therefore, the factors of 22, uh, uh, 42, I mean, are 2 times 3 times 7. Okay? So, next example is we have 90. So, what are the factors of 90? We have 2 times 45. Meron dalawang 45 sa 90. 2 is already a prime number. 45 is not yet. Anong number pwede natin i-multiply kay uh, uh, dito para makuha natin ng 45? Let's try 5. Anong pwede multiply kay 5? That's 9. Okay, when you multiply 5 times 9, that is 45. So 5 is already a prime number, but 9 is not a prime number. Why? Because the factors of 9 could be 1, and 3 times 3 is also a factor. So pwede natin gawin yung factor 3 times 3. So since 3 is already a prime number, hanggang dito na lang tayo. Therefore, the prime factors of 90 are 2 times 5 times 3 times 3. Or we can write it down as 2 times 5 times 3 raised to the power of 2. Okay, so next is we have 36. Madali lang si 36. Okay, factors of 36. We can multiply 6 by 6 and that will give you 36. So both are composite numbers. So ano mga factors of 6? We can multiply 2 by 3. And both 2 and 3 are prime numbers already. So same thing on the other side. 2 times 3 give you 6. So 2 and 3 are prime numbers already. Therefore, the prime factors of 36 are 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. Okay, or we can write it down as 2 raised to the power of 2. Kasi dalawang 2 times 3 raised to the power of 2. Das, dahil dalawa din yung 3. Okay, so next example Let's try 12. Very easy for 12, diba? 
So what number can we multiply for 12? Okay, so 12, we can do two by six. Okay, so we can write two by six. So two is already a prime number. So six is two times three. Okay, so these are all uh, prime numbers. So therefore, the prime factors of two are two times two times three or two raised to the power of two times three. Next example is we have 25, very easy also. 25, actually you can go directly five times five. Okay, so 25, since five is a prime number, therefore the fact prime factors of 25 is five raised to the power of two, lalawang five, okay? So let's still have two uh, numbers to try on and solve. Okay, so let's try 100. Okay, so 100 muna. So see 100, you can do, anong pwede ano natin kay 100? Let's try 2 by 50. Okay, 2 times 50 will give you 100. 2 is already a prime number. Then, so, two, uh, so 50, pwede natin i-multiply si 2 by 25. 2 is a prime number already. And C25 is a composite. Factors of 25 are 5 times 5. That will give you an answer of 25. So prime number na sila. So therefore, the prime factors of 25 are 25. So 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Or you can write this as 2 raised to the power of 2 times 5 raised to the power of 2. Okay. So last is we have 13. So since 13 is a prime uh, number, so therefore, the prime factor of 13 is also 13. Okay. So there you go. So uh, I hope you were able to learn how to find the prime factor of a given number. Very easy. So all you have to do is find the factor of that given number until such you will reach to a factor that is a prime number. So hanggang composite pa yung number, you still have to find the, the factors that are uh, prime numbers and not composite numbers. Okay? So I hope you like and uh, you like this video. You were able to learn something, feel free to comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much and good luck to your examination with your civil service. Thank you. Good afternoon.